Hi. Uh, today I will continue with the last time example. Remember, uh, what did we have in the above example here? So this is, I guess, lecture uh, seven, I suppose. Uh, okay, let's see. So remember, Pn or Pn, uh, Pnk for a field K, Pnk is uh, the set of all one dimensional subspaces. Uh, so it, is, it has coordinates x1, x2, xn plus one, uh, such that xi's are in K, and not all of these uh, xi's are zero. <laughs> So at least one of them is not zero, so that it represents a line. Uh, it represents a one-dimensional subspace. Okay, remember, uh, we define the UI as the set of all points, x1, uh, xn plus one, such that uh, where xi is not zero. So in particular, we have uh, un plus one, the last, uh, uh, set it is x1 uh, xn xn plus one such that xn plus one is not zero and uh, we can also write this state this as a set of po uh, points in the project space uh, where the last coordinate is one okay that's also very equal uh, and H infinity, this is circle at the infinity, H infinity, it was the projective space minus UN plus one, namely that is, uh, that is the set of all points X1, uh, X, Xn. So these are should be little X size, X1, Xn. Uh, and the last coordinate is zero. So that this is like uh, RP, which is P and minus one. And uh, there, is, there are maps from uh, affine space into projective spaces. And uh, the most, uh, I mean, the, we just consider V and plus one from uh, a affine space into U and plus one. And this map is uh, this map is defined as p n plus one x one x n is mapped to x one x n and the last coordinate is one. We take the last coordinate to be one. So what does this do with the special in the special case? So what does it do? So let's see as an example. Let's take n is n to be two and k to be the real numbers. Then uh, this phi three, let's call just that is phi, that is uh, from R two to R three, R two to uh, P two, uh, uh, that is, uh, it takes phi of x, y is x, y one. Oops, not that one. This uh, x, y, one. Namely, we can visualize this like this. Uh, visualize it like this, like this. So in the uh, x, y, z space, uh, if you take a, so you, n plus one, namely u3, remember is uh, x, y's, and the last coordinate is one. Uh, we can think of this, this is a unique representative. We can think of this, the z is equal to one plane, uh, like this, z is equal to one plane. So each point represents this line passing through the origin. Each point here in this plane 
described as a line, which is, uh, which is a point in the projective space. So this map is, for example, if you take uh, here is a point x, y, then the point x, y, one is this one. And uh, in the projective space, the line x, y, one is that line. So this point is mapped to that line. Uh, this point is mapped to this line in the in the projective space. P two, you know, P two. Okay. In the light of this explanation, now we return to the, our return to our previous example. Again, um, let's just consider the case uh, where. Uh, So this is the case example. Uh, this, uh, this is true for arbitrary field, but let's take uh, for convenience k to be a field to be r. And uh, let's look at n to be two again. Let's consider this function from uh, r2 to p2, namely u3, which is inside uh, p2. So the last coordinate is one. So let uh, L be the uh, line. Uh, this is the line uh, Y is equal to MX plus B. So, well, so let's look at this image. So this is the line uh, uh, X, uh, oops, sorry. This is X, MX, oh, sorry, X, mx plus b, where x is a, so the l is this line. This is, uh, uh, x is a real number, or x is in k for arbitrary k, but let's th think it as, think that as r. Okay, so let's look at this image. What is phi l? So this line satisfies this equation, y is equal to mx plus b. So just consider the ball explanation. Uh, so let me change this to finer point. So here is the plane say z is equal to one uh, and uh, for each point so let's take this line as like this so this is the line let's say y is equal to mx plus uh, mx plus b and if we consider so the last, if you take the last coordinate to be one, we have this line. So that uh, our function takes this line, this point to, uh, which point? Let me change the colors and to make it uh, more visible. So for a point here, for example, its image is that point. This point represents, remember, this line. So, and this point, image of that point, this is, let's say, uh, the image of this point is that one. So that we have a, all these lines uh, all these lines passing to origin and uh, the points on this, the lifted line, this is the line y is equal to mx plus b, where z and also z is equal to one in the in R3. Now we have a plane, uh, right? Plane, uh, let's consider the plane. Uh, uh, a plane P containing containing uh, the line. This lifted line, let's call this L prime. 
L prime and the origin in three space. So it's a plane, uh, there's a unique plane and uh, uh, this plane uh, gives us, it gives a, uh, that plane gives a, and this plane is y is equal to mx plus bz. And uh, in the xy space, it's intersection with the xy space is this line, and that is y is equal to mx. So it's like the limit of all these lines, in some sense, in uh, in projective space is that line. So that, uh, so more precisely, I can state it like this. So take a so line L is number. This is the point X, oops, uh, X, Y, well, or X, Y is uh, M, X plus, B, where x is a real number, x is a uh, point in k, then if you look at phi of l, phi of l is uh, the set of all points x, uh, mx plus b, and the last coordinate is one, uh, where x is in k again, and also uh, we can multiply by this, this guy by any lambda, lambda x, lambda uh, mx plus b, and the lambda, where uh, so x is in k and the lambda is in k, but not zero. Uh, now, so this, uh, the set of all these points satisfy this, this equation. If you check this, it is this satisfies the equation y is equal to mx uh, plus bz. So uh, this is the homogenized, uh, this homogenization. I guess it's something like this, the, the, the spelling uh, might be incorrect. Homogenization of uh, y, is equal to, uh, y is equal to mx plus b. So that, <coughs> so if you look at this set uh, where, for all them, the, the, where the last coordinate might be zero also. also uh, uh, oh, this, uh, it's intersection, so it's intersection with, so this line, this uh, x, m, x plus b, m, z, z, it's intersection uh, with the uh, h infinity, h infinity is the last coordinate is zero. If the last coordinate is zero, we have uh, x and x uh, and zero. zero. And this is the there's a this is the unique point. X cannot be zero. One m zero. So that. Uh, in particular, uh, if the in particular, all these lines, all uh, this phi of L's uh, passes through, passes through, pass through, uh, one M zero in, uh, in the uh, projective space, on the projective space, uh, so where the where the slope of L is, of course, is that. So if uh, L is a slope of uh, a line of slope of M, then <coughs> its image uh, they all pass through the same point. You can visualize this like this. Uh, so uh, let me visualize this way. So let's consider this. Uh, <coughs> XY plane again. And uh, the plane is, consider this is Z is equal to one. 
remember we can also consider the projective space as the uh, as the upper hemisphere like this oops i think i can draw it very nice something like this uh, let me draw first hemisphere and then this plane this is the projective space where this side is identified that one and consider this plane passing through this point where the uh, that, that point z is equal to one plane then if you take a line uh, uh, what does this says is that uh, let's see this so if we have a line here y is equal to mx uh, in the projective space it is, a, it is something like this but when you look at it is uh, it's uh, uh, the stereocard projection onto the circle, onto this upper, upper hemisphere, it's a, it is something like uh, oops. like this. And let me choose a different color. Yeah, this line. Now, if we take a parallel line to this one, uh, if you take a line parallel to this one, so in the in here, in the plane z is equal to one, it will be like this, but, but it is its projection, uh, it is stereographic projection will be uh, something like this, and they will intersect at the same point, and this point uh, represents one m uh, zero, namely this line. So they all, so th these, these two lines represent that line in the projective space. So all these lines of slope m uh, will be in the projective space, it will be something like this. Oops, from the other side, sorry, like this. Like this. These are the all lines of slope M, the images of all, all lines of slope M. Okay, that's nice. Uh, one more uh, example. One more example. In the book, uh, Let's take y squared is equal to x squared plus one uh, again. And let's sketch this in the project this in the plane uh, in R R two R K uh, K is R. This is one. Sorry, this is one. And uh, So we have this plane. And this is the equation of, uh, this is a, a parabola index, a hyperbola index by plane, like this, something like that. And when you lift this to the upstairs, its images will be these uh, hyperbola. Namely, how do I understand this? So for this point, for example, in the hyperbola, uh, y squared is equal to x squared plus one, uh, x squared plus one. Then we remember, this is the, uh, th this point represent that line, this point represents, uh, this point represent that line. And image of that point is this one. So that union of all these lines, in some sense, we have this, uh, these lines. So these are the points in uh, projective space. But this way we have a curve again in the projective space, the corresponding to this. So if this hyperbola is H, for example, then P of H is uh, the equation of P of H is 
equation of three of H's uh, is this uh, y squared is equal to or x squared plus z squared. This is the homogenization of this uh, y, y squared is equal to x squared plus one. And uh, it's intersection. So if you look at the x, y, so I'm sorry, uh, x, y, z, such that uh, y squared is equal to x squared plus z squared with the, the this h infinity, namely the last coordinate is zero. Uh, this is, if you look at this, it will be uh, x, y, uh, the last coordinate is zero, so that y squared is equal to or x squared. Uh, so that, remember, this is the, this represents, this is, there are two points. This is the point one, one, zero, and uh, one minus one is zero. This is the rep. This represents the line y is equal to x. This represents the line y is equal to minus x. So it intersects. Uh, so it intersects the h infinity at two two points, namely at these lines. So these are the remember y is equal to x is. Uh, so these are y is equal to x and y is equal to x minus x are uh, uh, asymptotes of uh, y squared is equal to x squared plus one in the xy plane, in xy plane. Uh, since these are y is equal to x and y is equal to minus x are uh, line in the xy plane, they represent two points in the two different points in the projective space, of course, and uh, they're at the infinity. Okay, that's it about this uh, examples, these examples. Now let's continue, move on. Okay, let's now go on to projective. Projective algebraic sets. Okay, here's the definition. So remember this Pn uh, K is. Uh, set of this x1, xn plus 1, such that not all these coordinates, at least one of them is not zero. And uh, a point, the point P in, in the projective space is called, said to be said to be a zero uh, of a polynomial polynomial f in the uh, x1 x2 xn plus one in n plus one variable if uh, f of x1 x2 xn plus one is zero for every choice of every choice of uh, x1, xn plus one plus one such that the p is equal to is represented by x1, xn plus one. So if you replace x by x1, x2, xn plus one by lambda times x1, lambda times x2, lambda times xn plus one, it should be also zero. Then we then write, right, f of p is equal to zero. So here's an example. Let me give an example. 
Well, let's examples. Uh, let's take polynomial to be f oops, x y z to be x minus y plus x y plus z squared. Then if we take in the uh, our field this complex numbers, let's take P to be the point one, one I. Uh, let's look at F of one, one I. This is uh, X is one, Y is one, plus X times Y is one times one, plus Z squared is I squared, that is zero. So for one representative, f is zero, and for another representative, so how about for another representative? So p can also be represented by lambda, lambda, lambda i for any lambda, for any lambda, then f of lambda, lambda, lambda i. Let's look at this. It is x my uh, x times x minus y plus x times y uh, plus z squared. This is again lambda squared minus lambda squared, that's zero. So that uh, uh, f of p is zero for this polynomial. Okay. Actually, I have only one example and for, uh, I, uh, let's take Q to be, now let Q be the another number, another point, Q be the point one, zero, I, for example. Then if you look at F, again, F, F of uh, one, zero, I, this is X minus Y plus X times Y plus z squared, this is again zero. But the q is also represented by two zero i, two i. And if you look at f of two zero two i, it is x minus y minus x times y plus two i squared. But the, result, the result is minus two, which is not zero. So therefore, uh, f of q is not zero. Namely, uh, q is not a zero. Q is not a zero of uh, f. So here is uh, in this example, we should pay one attention. Attention uh, is that. If you look at this polynomial, uh, f is f is our polynomial f is x minus y plus x times y plus uh, z squared. Z squared. This is f one, f two, f one plus f two. Here, uh, the so f of uh, p, f one of p is always zero. F two p is always zero is zero, but F1 uh, for Q, one zero I, this is not zero. And also F2 is, is not zero. One zero I is not zero. You should check those. Okay. So suppose uh, now, Suppose that f, you can write f as fm, fm plus one, blah, blah, fr, uh, as usual, where uh, whenever we write like this, uh, each fi is, is of, uh, is homogeneous. Namely, it's a form of degree i, degree i. I in uh, K X one X n plus one. 
it's n plus one. Uh, now suppose that so suppose p is equal to a one a n plus one. This is also uh, lambda times a one lambda times a n plus one, right? Uh, for lambda is not zero. No, for just lambda is not zero. Now, A1, A ends are fixed. So A1, A n plus one is are fixed numbers. So if you look at f of, I assume that f of p is equal to zero, so that f of uh, lambda a1, lambda a n plus one uh, is equal to zero for all lambda, so that, uh, Remember, so since Fm is uh, lambda, Fm is uh, homogeneous of degree m, a1, a m plus one, and the next one is a m lambda a m plus one, Fm plus one, a1, a m plus one, blah blah, and finally lambda r when you when you write. Uh, uh, I did not write one step, a1, a, uh, n plus one. This should be zero. Uh, so the one step is that f um, here, fm, uh, so you, you evaluate this fn, fn plus one, fr at the point f lambda a1, lambda times a n plus one. When you evaluate these forms, at this point, you get this one. So remember, these call this. Uh, these are fixed. We'll say B M, B M plus one, etc. So we have a polynomial uh, lambda M times B M, lambda M plus one times B M plus one, uh, and lambda R times B M plus so plus one. And this is equal to zero for all lambda. So this implies that all the coefficients are zero, as you see, when k is an infinite field. So assume that k is infinite. Okay, if assume that k is infinite, this is uh, always the case when is, uh, f is algebraically closed. So we will usually assume that, uh, which is the case, uh, in this case, it is infinite. Every algebraically closed field is infinite. Uh, so therefore, uh, if, so all these coefficients must be zero, namely bm plus one, bm plus two, B, br, this is br, sorry. Br, they all must be zero. So therefore, fm uh, lambda a1, or a, a, a1, a, um, a, r, must be zero. And f, m, f, r, this is not r, this is m plus one. a1, a, r plus one, m plus one. Is zero. So therefore, uh, whenever, if, namely, what did we, what do we have? Uh, what do we have? So that if a point, i.e., if f of p is equal to zero, then f i of p is equal to zero for all i is m, m plus one, etc. All of them must be zero 
which is in the above example, we had, remember, x minus y plus x times y plus z squared. So for p is equal to uh, uh, one, one i. So for any representative makes f1 uh, and f2 zero. So f1 of p is zero, f2 of p is zero. Okay, nice. Uh, so, so for example, so yeah, I did, we already did this example. Let's look at g of x, y, z to be z to the four minus x to the four. And for p, if you take p to be one, one uh, i, for example, then uh, p is, uh, uh, g of p is zero. G of p is equal to zero. You can check this because g of uh, lambda 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 i is lambda to the four plus. Oops, not zero. <laughs> I said it wrong. Oh, minus. Sorry, this is minus. Oops. Uh, lambda i squared to the four. Sorry. Zero. So that uh, G of P is zero. So here is for any set, any uh, set in uh, K X one X n plus one. Uh, let us define the zero set of S to be all the points in the projective space such that p is a zero of uh, for all p in uh, uh, f in p f in s so uh, as before this is just like as in the fine case but except that f of f of p is equal to zero means f is zero on all represent representatives of p so for example, in the above example, uh, this G in the above example is in the zero set of uh, G, oops, not P. The, uh, the point uh, P is in the zero set of uh, G. Okay. Okay, next. Next, if uh, if I is an ideal, ideal generated by S, then clearly we have, as, as before, clearly the zero set of the ideal is the, the zero set of S, that's clear. And uh, suppose uh, I is, let me write like this, A, B, C, et cetera, these are polynomials, be finitely generated. So there are finitely many polynomials, finitely generated. Uh, and uh, let's write the, 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 the homogeneous uh, coordinates of uh, a as A1, A2, like this, B as B1, B2, etc. Then, uh, then the ideal I is also generated by A1, A2, B1, B2, etc. So these two ideals are the same. Uh, 
Well, here A, I, B, I's are forms, of course. Of degree I. Okay. No, that this is not I, this is, uh, oh, sorry, not I, this is not I. I meant the zero set of I is the, is the, is the zero set of these homogeneous polynomials. Now that we have finitely many homogeneous polynomials, A1, A2, except that B1, B2, blah, blah. So that means, uh, so here is an example. So let's say F is, for example, X minus Y plus X, Y minus uh, Z squared. And G is equal to as above, X to the four minus Z to the four. Then uh, I have to quit here, I will continue. Okay, let me finish this. So that the, the, the zero set of uh, the ideal generated by F and G is the same thing as the zero set of X minus Y, X Y minus Z squared and X to the four minus Z to the four. So we can take the generators to be these uh, Polynomials, these home, uh, forms. Oops, here it is uh, z squared. This is z squared, right? Okay, this is the end of uh, this lecture today. <laughs>